Welcome back, MMA Odds Breaker, Steven Sollers. Today is who we're talking to, get ready to fight Desmond Green, coming up on Titan Fighting Championships number 32 on CBS Sports on uh, December 19th. Um, so yeah. how has is, how is training camp been for you diet-wise? Thanksgiving was yesterday. You know, what's it, what's it been like? like how, how was it getting through this week? You know, going down to 45 has never been rough for me. It's always been an easy cut, actually. So I actually cheated a little bit yesterday, ate a good amount of turkey, had a piece of pie, um, I enjoyed the holidays, so it wasn't rough. Um, I'm actually going on a little road trip here in a couple hours, heading down to Vegas, okay. and then out to Arizona uh, to finish the camp at the lab. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, so hopefully the long car ride doesn't really affect the diet too much. How long will you be in the car for? What's the total drive time? Uh, about 11 and a half hours. We're going to spend a couple days in uh, Vegas, so we're going to – I talked to my buddy, uh, Josh Dorkman. He's getting me a room down there, so I'm going to spend a couple nights down there. Good. And then uh, Sunday morning, head down to Arizona. Where are you going to stay? What are you gonna, and where are you going to train while you're in Vegas? Uh, I think in uh, – I'm probably at Shroom Couture. Okay, good. Uh, Foles, was, Foles was just down here uh, for Bristol fighting down the showdown. Yep. And then uh, Caraway spent some time on the show with him, and I know Misha and all those guys. Yeah. So. Good, good. It'll be, a, it'll be a good addition to the camp. For uh, we got a big, big camp out there right now. There's – a lot of guys coming in, and even on uh, Thanksgiving morning before uh, everyone took off for Turkey Day, it was probably about 25 pros in there all, all banging it out before uh, before Turkey Day. So, yeah, it's good. It's been That's good what Brian there. said. He's like, there's a bunch of great guys, smaller guys down there too. So uh, just going to spend probably just a night down there and uh, Saturday, train Saturday morning down there and then finish at the lab with uh, Ben Henderson yeah. and Barner and those crew. Good for you. All right, so when you go down to, uh, to the lab, how long will you be in there? Uh, two weeks, three weeks before you take off? <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably going to stay till after the UFC wow. down there. I'm probably going to uh, go to the UFC in Arizona, then that night head back to Vegas, then swing my way back to Utah to finish the last few days up here. Okay. Does, does traveling like that a lot for you, does that help out? Because I know a lot of guys like, no, once I'm in train camp, i got to stay put. I can't move anywhere. But you seem to like to go to different places and get different looks. No, this is actually my first time. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, so just uh, first time. I mean, I do. We, we switch it up between Hacks, Hackleman's place and here. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is my first time actually going – you know, multiple, multiple, multiple places. So, uh, just trying something new, but you know, I feel good right now. I feel like I'm in a happy place mentally. I don't think it'll affect me too much. Well, how do you see Desmond green? Cause he, you know, he's one of those guys that he finally moved camps. He's up at TriStar now. And before he was just, you know, training out of somebody's garage. Now he's actually in a real camp. It's, you know, it's, he's completely changed up how he's, how he's doing stuff. Uh, but he hasn't changed much as a fighter. Like he's, he's mentally gotten tougher, but his technique and his skill set are still the same. Like he really hasn't made a, a huge advancement, you know, when it comes to his skill set. So he's going to grind you against the cage. He's going to try and take you down. He's going to try and grind you out and, and, and TK you up from the top. Do you feel like you're getting enough looks like that, you know, with, with guys getting on top of you and, and playing that kind of game? That that was kind of like the the final straw like when I thought about it, why to go to the lab. Because I figure at the lab there's more guys like that than here right now. And the guys that we do have like that are a little bit bigger, like Berkman, Court, yeah. and, you know, they're – a lot heavier than me, so uh, I think going down with the 55ers and 45ers down there, I think it might help out, you know, worrying about the people who could grind me out, so. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense, at least to me, it made more sense for you to go down, uh, it's a smart move, you know, to be at the lab, because there are such a, a lot of good wrestlers uh, uh, getting down there, especially a guy like Barner, who's a 55 pounder, but he's always in shape, he, if you follow him on Instagram or Facebook, like, he's always, you know, working out, he's always, you know, every day getting his reps in, even when he's not in training camp. And so he's a guy that's going to grind on you and lean on you and give you that kind of pressure that you're going to need. It's an ex perfect uh, time right now because of the fact that they all, all are in camp right now. Henderson's yeah. fighting, I think, in January. Yep. Barner and those guys are fighting in Arizona the you know week before I do. So yeah, it's all like the – what is that, the 13th, 13th or 12th or something? Yeah, yeah 13th. And so, so I think it makes perfect sense right now that they're all – sorry, hold on a second. Yeah, no worries. I kicked the little guy. <laughs> um <laughs> But yeah, it makes, it's going to be perfect time. They're all in camp. I'm in camp right now, so. Now, is your whole family coming with you on these when you're making this this trip? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think I'd be able to leave even for two three weeks. Uh, I, would, I don't think I'd be able to leave them at all. So, the wife's able to work from Arizona. She works from home, okay. so that's perfect. And then, uh, yeah, I figure it's just I, I don't want to live without this little guy. Yeah, how old is he? Six months. Oh yeah, brand new. Yeah, don't worry. Wait till they're twelve. You'll be begging him to go to a friend's house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> please go spend a night. Please go away. Yeah, uh, um, it's tough though with the six month old in the house. Like you know, there's sleeping patterns, there's food patterns, there's dietary issues. You know that you're trying to get a six month old to eat different foods, and you're trying to be on a diet. 
uh, what's it like, you know, having, you know, having uh, uh, your son with you all the time while you're trying to be on a diet and get to train camp and, and do all that kind of stuff? No, uh, it, it makes it easier, actually. I, he gets my mind off, you know, you know, he entertains me. He's just, a, I, I'm the kind of guy who just wants to love, you know, roll around, have fun, and I'm very playful, and seeing him laugh, that's like all I want to do is just sit there and we, you know, I try to scare him. He smiles at me and laughs and giggles. And it, I mean, I, I find it fun chasing him around. It gets my mind off food and off the fight. I don't really care about thinking about the fight. I know how I'm going to do with the fight. So you just just, I just want to have fun. What's your, you said your wife works at home. What does she do for work? Uh, she, she does uh, credit repair. Oh, okay. All yeah, right. so she just, yeah, over the phone does, you know, get the information. She has all this computer stuff here. So it works out perfect. We're both home nonstop. You know, I train, you know, maybe four and a half five hours a day but other than that i'm home at the house yeah and so you get to spend a lot of time with them between practices and exactly and she's home nonstop when i'm not she's just here watching them as well saves you know daycare and all that just he gets to be home is she is your wife an independent contractor for credit repair or does she work for a bigger company and gets fed, fed she, leads? she works for a bigger company called e folks okay yeah or progression yeah lexington law sorry lexington law oh lexington law oh she works for lexington law okay yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. pretty that's actually a pretty big company so yeah, so uh, see how much shows you how much I know, though. <laughs> well, you know that's uh, half the game is that uh, behind behind every great fighter there's always a great significant other. You know, exactly. It, there's always somebody in the behind the scenes taking care of all the food, all the all the the. Like, she yeah. she takes care of me, no doubt about it. Right. So what's what's your diet like? I mean, do you have a a particular a pretty special diet that you're on? I mean, you said it's not, easy to not make weight. Really. But... I mean, my my favorite part, you know, I, I still cheat every now and then. You know, get keep the sugar in me, just keep me happy and motivated throughout the camp. I don't want to get myself too angry. I don't like to fight angry, so you know, I try to keep it. You know, a lot of protein for the most part. But yeah. I, I, you know, it's such an easy cut where I'm not worried about it at all. I mean, I've even thought about going down to 35. You know, when I get back to the UFC. Oh wow, good for you. And so, what's your weight like then, right now, just walking around? Uh, 60, 160. Okay, yeah, so it's not too bad. You'd have to diet down probably to about 150. Get yourself on a good diet, get down to 150, but make that cut down to 35 if you wanted to do that. Exactly. So it's not too bad. That's actually well, well within it. Yeah, and I'm going to probably get a nutritionist still to do that for me. I feel like 45 I could do myself. Other than that, I'll probably go down when I get a nutritionist to get a 35, but I'm, I'll wait till the UFC calls me back for that. Have you thought about, I mean, what, how can we wait for the UFC to, to make that move? Why don't you go down now and so that when you get the call, you're not all of a sudden scrambling and, and, and trying to make weight. Like you're, you're already established, had a couple, three, four fights at 35. Um, Mostly you know, nutrition is not cheap. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Made the same here in the UFC right now. So, yeah. um, you know, I've, I've, I've done a pre-cut and just by myself doing it in two weeks from 65, I got down to 42, 43. Oh, okay. I figured with the nutritionist, uh, I'd be able to do it pretty easy. And that's, yeah. that was in two weeks. Wow, yeah, that you should be able, you should be able to make it relatively easy now if you keep working at it. Exactly, and you're right. There, and there's that's one of the things that people don't realize. Yeah, you're on you're on CBS Sports, and people are going to see you on primetime, but you're not making the UFC money, and and the numbers aren't there for sponsorship dollars and all that. So, you know, was it a fifty percent pay cut? Was it a you know seventy five percent pay cut? You know, how much of a pay cut did you take going from? From the UFC down to down to Titan, it, it had to be a pretty significant pay cut, right? To make that. Yeah, job. exactly. It was a, you know, I'm making probably twenty percent of what I was making the UFC. Okay, and that's and that's a struggle, and that's what I kind of compare it to being a baseball. Like you're all of a sudden you're on the Yankees, and then all of a sudden now you're down on their minor league Triple A team, and the price difference is like being up, being up, is a, is like a million dollar day job, and then all of a sudden you're down, you're making two thousand dollars a day. It's like a totally different ball game. And when I was in the UFC, I didn't have the house and the baby and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so, so now all of a sudden you really got to worry about you know what's what's going to happen next. Where's that money coming from? And it's got to go to different things. Exactly. So what else are you doing? Uh, you're just still just full-time fighter. You don't have to do anything yeah, else. I'm still, I'm still able to get by for sure. Okay. So nothing, right. Not like I'm struggling too too hard. I got great sponsors behind me. Yeah. Uh, a lot of great people behind me. And um, like I said, my wife's working from home. So it's not like we, we don't we, – we have a two-person income. Right, right. You don't have to worry about uh, sitters and, and eat, that eats up half your half your paycheck is, is uh, daycare. If you have to send your son to daycare, well – both you and your wife are out working, so it does help out quite a bit. You know, having that uh, having that put together. Yeah. So, what do you see different? What's going to be different about you now in this fight you know, as you get ready for Des Green? Um, you know, I don't really think anything's going to be too different. Actually, I felt um, other than that last fight in the UFC I had, I felt I was doing everything right. You know, I, was, I started out five and one. 
I lost a tough, you know, grind out decision to Bermudez, which, mm-hmm. you know, that's just more a bad, uh, bad on my end. I kind of expect him to stand and trade more yeah. instead of, you know, take down as much, which I know he's a wrestler, but he, he was going through all those fights of the nights. I thought he wanted to stand and bang. Um, you know, the Ronnie Jason, Han Jason fight was just a, you know, I feel a fluke. Uh, I got dropped and I was still okay. And I think it's a bad stoppage. Right. Um, and then that low, that last one was just, you know, lack of motivation. You know, I was doing this, was, I've been doing this for quite some time. You know, I think I was out of 42, 43 fights. That's my first time ever having a fight where I just didn't care to be there. I even went in the corner after the first round and told my coach, I'm like, I, I just don't want to fight right now. Okay. And he's like, he's like, oh, hopefully it uh, comes together soon. And I go, yeah, I hope so too. You know, I, I was really relaxed and didn't care. And I think I turned it on in the third round, but it was already too late. So, oh, you know, I, okay. I figured with the UFC, when they cut me, man, it kind of lit a fire under my, my butt, you know, make me want it a little bit harder. And, you know, I figured I was taking the UFC for granted more than anything. And now now I'm just hungry to get back. Yeah, and that's the thing. Now you have motivation. Now you've got, a, you know, you've got a new son. You've got a... You've got a house you got to worry about, you know. Now you're, and you're doing some different stuff too. You're traveling. You're going to different exactly. camps. You're getting different looks. You're gonna, and you have to go into those situations under stress. And you know, and, you know, and you know, training, especially these last few weeks, have been awesome. Like I, I figure I'm just, I'm hitting people a lot harder in practice than I probably should, and uh, yeah. you know, I'm finishing people nonstop, and, and you know, hopefully I'm able to do that at the lab as well with all that high level competition, and I, I know I'll do it at the fight. Nice, good. Well, that's uh, Steven Sally getting ready to fight Desmond Green. December 19th can be seen, of course, on CBS Sports, uh, Titan Fighting Championships number 32. Thanks, Steve, for spending some time with us the day after Thanksgiving. I appreciate it. Um, you know, have a great trip down down to Vegas. Uh, I'll be in L.A. I, I might be able to catch you. Uh, um, actually, no, I'll be in L.A. the whole, the whole time you're here, and then uh, uh, I won't be in Phoenix. But you have a great time down there, and, and have have a lot of fun, man. Enjoy I'll enjoy see. the journey. You know, enjoy the journey because you really are one of those guys that loves to have fun. You love to train. You love to hang out. But for you, it's just... Some guys come in and got me mean and mad and, and they want to beat everybody up and you're kind of goofy when it comes to even when you're training, you're still kind of, eh, it's okay, it's fine, you hit me, I'll hit you back, we're just going to keep yeah. doing it and I like that. Yeah. There's a reason why I didn't get a real job. Exactly. This is, this <laughs> is fun. It's fun. So. All right, buddy. Have a great rest of the day. We'll talk to you soon. Awesome. Thanks, man. I appreciate it.